Today morning everybody we are going to try and battle that age-old enemy of the garden slugs and snails and puppy dog tails yes today and I'm going to try and start early as well and I've always liked just and it's more fun to be honest like try different methods you know I hear methods in the comments you know and you try that and you try that but for some reason slugs are just so they're so damaging to you you know all your hard work and they're so tough little things, you know what I mean? They might have a soft body, but by God, they can last all your kind of defences and get through to your kind of vegetables. So this year, I'm trying something different. For me personally, whether you've tried it or not, I don't know, but I'm going to give a go to the Nema slugs. These are like Nema slugs. These are like biological little kind of microorganisms that you put into the soil and then they put it into the actual slug itself and eat away and kill the slugs and snails so that's what i'm gonna do today so this this bed here is a great example of an old battlefield where I've, I've i've tried to battle the slug population here and we do get quite a number of slugs you know there's some things we don't get we don't get the mice we don't get other little things but we do get a lot of slugs so this bed in particular has been a battlefront and a failed battlefront at that this is an old you know like one of those slug beer things <laughs> you know what i mean never i've used it once i wasn't keen on them if anybody watched that video i didn't even like put setting the things up but it's still there as a, as a reminder then last year can you see we did the copper tape around and i think the copper tape worked but as you can see for whatever reason it snapped off there i don't know if i hit it or clipped it that's a <laughs> the barrier has breached you know they can all cl climb in there crawl in so this year like i say we're gonna try this nema slug and this actual pack will last for six weeks so you've got to if you want to you know you've got to keep redoing it but i'll talk a little bit more about this so there's certain guidelines advice on the packet that they give you for best results and some of these guidelines advice i cannot meet do you know what I mean? first one is it has to be the ground has to be nice and moist and well we haven't had any rainfall here for you know i work for the water board we know how short water is so i'm gonna give the ground a real good soak in before i put them in and then have, I'm going to have to come up and keep on watering the ground and you do get that normally you know with your kind of veg you kind of water your veg in but I'll have to keep on top of it and that's something that sometimes I'm not that <laughs> not that good at doing so one of the other things is or one of the kind of recommendations is once you get this you get it through the post once you get that again I put a link down where I got mine from put it in the fridge straight away and keep it cool don't freeze it but use the sell by date you know it's got to be done by the sell by date now check that and i was quite surprised because you haven't got a long sell by date i'll just pull this out mine i think mine says there the 27th of the 4th you know so i've only got like a few days now i've had it a couple of weeks granted but you know get yourself prepared ready for this because you haven't got that long once you get it now this will this little pack there will cover 40 squared meters of land and i'm lucky i've got like raised bed so i can hopefully you know get it all done and just it pretty quickly but what is also so you can't keep this you know so once you make up your solution you kind of your little kind of concentrate and then you add it to water and cans of water you've got to use it all up in one go as well so that's another thing you've got to you know take into consideration you can't plan this over a couple of days and do it it's going to be used straight away so if you enjoy this channel do think about subscribing subscribing costs you nothing and it's free all it means is you'll get notified when i put out the video so sometimes they get lost in the in the fold if you hit subscribe you get notified you can see what's going on basically as much as i can get up here hit the thumbs up and the bell icon to be notified all the time now we've used something similar to this i work in the water industry and we've used something similar to this in aerated water to kill the how we describe it is you've got the good bugs killing the bad bugs on the waste water side and we put this into kind of aerated water and what it says on the packet as well 
try and keep the, the suspension, the solids, what you're mixed in with your water and can, can try and keep them agitated and mixed up so because they'll settle out of the bottom and you'll end up just putting cloudy water on your bed instead of all the, the good little soldiers. Now they also say as well, apply in the evening or on cloudy days. So I'm taking this as a cloudy day and it's planned to be clouds most of the day as well. So that'll kind of work in my favour. One of the things in my favour. What I need to do really though is soak the ground. So I'm going to get on with that there now. So there we go then, little, little water of the garden. What it says as well is this will last six weeks upon application but keep the soil moist for about two weeks after this uh, this initial kind of blast with it so let's get mixing so you've got to make up four liters of like liquor suspension that like the main solution so we'll get four liters in here roughly so we'll get your little packet and like I say, this here is the 27th of the 4th and the whole lot's got to go in. Good mix. So your basic mix is, this one's like the, the, the real liquor solution, is you had half a litre to five litres of water, normal water, and then that's, you know, spread out on your land. There you go. So application wise is the say use a coarse spout of rose from a watering can or you could use one of those you know where you attach it to your hose pipe like a feed and just feed it that way but since we're up the allotment this is what i've got so you can do eight for this little pack there this one here you can get eight of these this like size so these normally are the main brassica bed so it seems fitting that will do these first so this is the last one to go so we'll just get that solution in there with this i've kind of done every bed there now so i'm happy i'm just kind of going over tickling ones again and that's it there we go so the keen spotted of you might notice that i didn't do in here and basically you need a different pack different solution i got with i think cut worms they're called i got hammered last year so i'm going to get some hopefully of the cut worm variety of the nematodes and get them in in here later on though so as it happens the sun's come out there now so i'm just going to give another light water and just keep doing this which will be good for the garden anyways you know just to give them a fighting chance to f go and find the enemy so that's it we'll see how this goes like see i've tried the beer traps i've tried the copper had to try this i've heard some good reports about it whether the weather is good you know for us or against us it is a dry season at the moment in england but we'll try them look after yourself take good care